This is a Zoototal production. Hello, surveyors. Um, so this is going to act as our second and final math practice video. Um, so for a lot of this, it's uh, we're practicing like conversions uh, back and forth from scientific notation, but also we're going to practice some stuff with log and natural log that will come up later. Um, but I want to go ahead and practice it while we're doing a math review. All right, so first up, uh, here it wants us to convert the following decimals to scientific notation, right? That's where you use the times 10 to whatever power, right? So times 10 to the x, right? So um, how do we do that? When we're given a decimal, we have to look at, um, you're going to have to start with some number that's like less than 10 that you multiply by this 10. So um, we're going to need to move this decimal to right here. So you notice we had to jump to the right two times. So it would be 1.35 in how I moved that decimal point. Now from there, I'm gonna say times 10, and then the number I put up here is based off of which direction, right? So in this case, to the right, so it's gonna be a negative exponent, uh, negative power, um, and then I had to jump twice. So it would be 1.35 times 10 to the negative two. All right. Now this next one, we're going to go in the opposite direction to the left. So we won't have that negative number there. It'll be a positive. So let's count how many times I have to jump to right behind this one. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a times 10 to the positive six. All right. Ooh, well, hang on. <laughs> I need to write this out as a decimal now right there. So that's going to be 1.4509. Five zero nine eight zero zero one eight zero zero one, and that's going to be times ten to the six. Okay, because we said I had to jump that way six spots. All right, now we're going back and we're jumping to the right, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's going to be nine point eight five times ten, and I had to go to the right five spots, so it's going to be negative five. All right, five spots is the five, having to move it back backwards right means I, I have a negative all right now in this case I'm gonna have to move the decimal point forward one two right so it's gonna be one point four two six five times ten all right and I had to move forward two so it's a plus two or just two all right uh, next up uh, here I'm gonna have to move the decimal point right so remember the this first number has to be between uh, pretty much uh, 1 and 9, right? So that that's the extremes of what that first number in front of the decimal point has to be. So I'm going to have to jump back one spot to right here. So they give me 5.706, and I had to go backwards 1. So it's going to be times 10 to the negative 1, all right? Um, so next we've got this one says it's uh, times 10 to the negative 4. So I need to go, I need to turn this into a decimal number. So that means, right, I need a number a whole lot smaller than 1, right? So that means I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means there should be three zeros in front of the 4 now. So it should be 0 0.123472. All right, next up, this one is 10 to the 5. So this number is huge, a lot bigger than 1. So I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's going to be these two zeros after the 3. So it's going to be 3, 3, 2, 3, 0, 0. And then there's my decimal point. So just to make it kind of easier to read, that tells us that this is 332,300. Okay. Um, I'm just putting the decimal point there so you can see where it stopped. All right, um, here this is negative seven, so we this number as a decimal should be way, way tiny, way, way smaller than one. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros in front of that two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two, nine. Six one, all right. So there's my decimal conversion. All right. Next up, this is times ten to the negative one. So I'm only going to have to go this direction one spot. So there will be, there won't be any zeros in front of the one. So zero point one five four. That one was a lot easier. All right. Here we've got nine point six five four times ten to the zero. 
right? So anything to the zero power is equal to one. So that's like, so I'm saying 9.564 times one. So that is 9.654. That is what it is. All right, next up, our last page here is looking at using logs and natural logs. So for this one, um, you know, log is, I need to make two adjustments real quick. That should be a thousand. And this one right here should also be 1,000. All right, now, um, when we look here, converting the log and natural log functions, it wants us to take the log of one. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you how to do that on the calculator real quick. So let me turn it on and let me clear it. All right, so if you notice, right, on my calculator, I have a button that says LOG for log, and then I have an LN for natural log, okay? So these first sets right here are all using LOG, log. All right, now, so when I look at this, it wants me to take the log of one. So, uh, hang on, I'm trying to get it to where you can kind of see. Let me, let me zoom out some. I have to manually do this. All right, so let's look at what I've got here. You can't see the log button still. All right, there we go. So that means I'm gonna have to hit log of one, and you can close the parentheses or not on mine, but I don't have to. So the log of one is zero, All right? Now remember, log is, so the opposite of log is 10 to the X. So when you're saying the log of one, it's saying 10 to what power equals one, All right? And that makes sense, right? 10 to the zero is one. So any number to the zero power is equal to one. Now. <clears throat> Here you've got 10 to what power equals 100. Well, for log and these types of numbers, it's very easy. You just count the number of zeros. So here the answer should be 2. But just to kind of check it, right, if we say log of 100 and hit enter, right, I get 2. Here I see 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So I know the log of 10,000 should be 4, but I'll show it on the calculator too. One, two, three, four zeros. There you go. Here it's log of a thousand. Remember, I made that edit. So this should be three, right? Um, and here it's log ten. So there's only one zero, so it should be one, right? Because it makes sense. Ten to the power one is equal to ten, right? Ten to the power three is equal to one thousand. Okay. Now these other ones here that are not easily factorable by ten. Right, we've got two 6.35. Right, this is going to be a little harder. So this is where actually using your calculator becomes fundamentally important. So if we take the log of two, right, we know that it should be greater than zero. We know that much, right? Because log of one was zero. So it should be some number greater than zero. So let's see, what is that? 0 0.301. I'm going to do three decimal places. So 0.301. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and then um, here we got log of 6.35. So this should also be greater than one, but if you notice, right, log of 10 was equal to one. So this number should also be somewhere between uh, zero and one, but it should also be greater than 0.3. So let's see, what is log of 6.35? All right, 0 0.803, I'm gonna round that. All right, next up I get log of 147. So that's a little greater than 100, right? So remember log of 100 was two. So log of 147, 147 should be uh, greater than two. So let's see what it is, 2.167, 2.167. All right, and then I need the log of 4,892. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need the log of 4,892. And I get 3.689, 3.689, all right? And then log of 5.5. 5. Um, I get 0 0.740, 0. 740. Okay, next up we have our natural log stuff. Now, what I did was I chose natural logs that were very similar to the logs, right? So here it was log of one, log of 100, log of 10,000. I did the same thing with a natural log because the whole point I'm trying to demonstrate here is log and natural log are different. So remember, natural log of one was zero and ironically, right? Let's see, natural log of one 
here is also zero. Okay, now let's pay attention. That log of 100 was two. Okay, now if we do natural log of 100, and sorry, to show you the button I'm pushing, I'm pushing this button right here under my log, LN. So natural log of 100 is equal to 4.605. All right, so natural log, 4.6, log, 2. All right, so very different. And so you want to be able to do both of these on your calculator. All right, so now let's look up natural log of 10,000. So it's 1,000. There you go, 10,000. All right, what do I get? 9.210. All right, natural log of 1,000, 3. What did I get? I get 6.908. And then natural log, all right, natural log of 10, 2.303. 2.303. All right. Um, and then, so for natural logs, it's not easy. You don't just count the zeros. Okay. Um, now, also natural log of 2. Let's see, what do we get here for natural log of 2? So natural log of 2 is 0 0.693. All right, now pay attention to this natural log of 2 versus the log of 2. Okay, log of 2 was 0.3. Natural log of 2 is 0.6 or 0.7 if I rounded it. All right, so let's keep going here. All right, natural log of 6.35. 1.848. Alright, natural log of 147 is 4.990 and natural log of 4892 is going to be 8.495 and lastly natural log of 5.5 .5 is going to be 1.705 all right and so like I said you can compare this whole segment of natural log to this whole segment of log okay so you can compare those two like I've done here and you can also compare this section of log to this section of natural log right and so you notice right the whole point of this whole page is to demonstrate that they are different do not get them confused do not think they are the same that is a common mistake that students make all right um so anyway so from there that concludes our um our math review vi practice videos and this being our second one so i will see you next time in chapter one adios